starting off with the background to all my videos, which is what you guys see in the background is the posters I got right here. I've got a Fistful of Dollars poster right here, and the reason it's an Asian one is because they didn't have one with English lettering at all. That was the exact same as this poster, so I got the Asian one. I'm not a weeb. I just got it because it looked cooler. Because I like the design of it, it looks so cool. And then I got, of course, Return of the Jedi right here. I need to get the rest of the original trilogy posters, but I don't have them. And then here's my cat Jimmy that most of you guys know, because he likes to make an appearance in a lot of my videos all the time. But anyways, yeah, those are, those are the two posters in the background. I really like collecting posters. I found a place called All Posters Forever Ago, and uh, no, I'm not sponsored, I wish I was. But they have like they're constantly having like 50% off sales for their posters. And so that's why I got, like, posters everywhere, because posters are super cheap. It's just the frames that cost a ton. Anyways, then we've got my, my setup right here. This is, what I'm, this is what I'm working with. Got my PC down here. Got a joystick because I just... Okay, hello. But, uh, I can't, just complete attention whore. But anyways, I got, my, I got my joystick right here because the pod racing game got, uh put back to PC so that way you don't have to play with disc it's now on GOG you can download and back in the day I used to play the pod racing game all the time and we used a joystick so I bought a joystick for it it sucks and now I understand why we were so bad at the game because using keyboard is so much easier but anyways yeah I got that my PC down there got my blu-ray player down there these aren't comics this is change that's just where I keep all my change because I have nowhere else to keep it look at them always in always in view of the camera and I got my shoes down here. Got my Superman Converse. I think are pretty cool, pretty neato. These are just these are just shoes I bought for like twenty bucks when my sister got married because I had no shoes to wear at my sister's wedding. I got some Nikes. Got my hiking shoes. And then over there, like my shoes, I use all the time. Red shoes, the Adidas ones are the most comfortable shoes on the planet. So those are my work shoes. They're all completely screwed up. And then I got my uh, just my Nike slides. <sighs> Let's see right here. I got a. TV for my second monitor because I used to have a second monitor, but then my brother's monitor broke, so I let him use mine for his main monitor. And my brother-in-law gave me this TV because he didn't use it at all, and so I got that for my second monitor. I got my main monitor right there, which is 144 hertz, which is great if you're playing on PC. If like you have a gaming PC and you don't use at least like 120 hertz, if you're still on 60 hertz, upgrade it. It's the it's the best decision. Uh, my Superman wallet, Star Wars water bottle. Avengers coin I got for going to the Infinity War fan event that says la, 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 the opening night fan event 2018 made in China. But yeah, I uh, got my Razer Black Widow Stealth keyboard. Let's see, and yeah, monitors BenQ 144 hertz. Anyways, got just cat hair all over this thing because of him. He's always constantly up here. Anyways, got my uh, Logitech. G400S mouse, I forgot for a second what it was, and then I got my HyperX Cloud 2 headset, Blue Yeti microphone, I'd like to upgrade eventually, but any microphone more expensive is, well, more expensive. And then we got my posters back here, look at this. We got, this one is from Jock, and this was in Batman the Black Mirror, and then this one is from Adam Kubert, and those, just look at how badass it is, I love the way it looks with the whole setup. Yeah, like, look at my PC and everything, it's like, ooh. It looks so awesome. Look at that. Oh my god, I love that so much. Anyways, then over here, we got Scooby-Doo and Cyber Chase, which most of you guys know, I think. I'm a huge Scooby-Doo fan. I grew up on Scooby-Doo, and uh, Cyber Chase was one of my favorite movies growing up. And I, the only problem was, this is a different frame than those two. Because, okay, so these two and that one are 27 by 40, and then these are 24 by 36. So they're obviously different frames. But these two are both the same frames. That one's a different one, even though it's the same size, because they sold out of those frames. So I had to buy a different one. That's why it looks weird and it's not all clear. I like the actual frame itself, the sides. I like it better because it's not as thick as these ones, if you look at how thick these ones are. Like, I, I prefer the slimmer ones like that, but I hate the, like, sort of gloss on it because it, it's not as clear, and I hate that. Besides, that's a really good frame, and it just, ah, oh, it looks so cool. But, yeah, I got that hanging over my bed. There's my bed, got a giant blanket under it, I got a Star Wars blanket, and then I got my dog. Abby, say hello to the people, she's so tired. She's had such a long day, she's so tired. But yeah, she's, a, she's an older doggo, she's nine years old. I've had her since she was like one and a half, I got her from a shelter back in Florida. So she's a Florida doggo originally, and uh, she's not one for the spotlight like Jimmy. She looks very upset, but uh, 
yeah, she made the flight all the way out here. Thank God she was okay. Especially considering all those horror stories about dogs on planes. But, yeah. And over here is my awful clothes situation because that's the closest thing I have to a dresser is that little thing. And so I just had to throw all my clothes in there. And I got Blu-rays over here. Which, you see John Wick 2, Looper, Snatch, Indiana Jones Trilogy, uh, Spider-Man Trilogy, Unforgiven, Force Awakens. Bleh. I The reason I own The Force Awakens is because I have to own every Star Wars movie. So I own, like, all of them. I used to own every single one, but then I moved to Blu-ray and I got rid of all of them. And so now I only have... All except for I think episode one, two, and episode eight. Besides that, I think I have every single I have every single Star Wars movie besides Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and The Last Jedi. And then we got like I said, I'm a big Scooby Doo fan. Got Loch Ness Monster, Blue Lake Camp Scare, a bunch of stuff like that. Justified, the best TV show ever. Then the only game I have on disc is X Men Origins Wolverine. Then <laughs> right here is the dreaded pile of unreads because uh, most of you guys know about this. That uh, you get excited for comics, you buy comics, but then you don't have time to read those comics, so you have a big pile of unreads. Most of this is from Emerald City Comic Con, where they were just like super cheap $5 hardcovers and stuff, but this is just the new Deathstroke uh, volume that came out, so of course I bought it. But anyways, yeah, that's the pile of unreads. Same with this, these are like the new issues that I haven't read yet, I haven't gotten around to it, when I get time I will. Then right here is the bookshelf that most of you guys have seen. Got Star Wars, Deathstroke, Superman, along with some other hats behind them, like more Superman. And the Giants, because I don't really talk about the Giants much, but I'm a big Giants fan. Even though I'm from Florida, I just I was always, I just was a big Giants fan because when I was little, I liked the colors. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're cool, and I didn't want to be like my brother who loved the Dolphins. I was like, I gotta pick something different. I was like the Giants look cool. They're, they're my favorite team. Been my favorite team forever. Got Superman Beanie, Mystical Green Beanie is watching this. You know this is way better than your Beanie, I'm sorry. And then we got my Superman shelf. With the newest edition is the Action Comics 80 Years of Superman. And I got Batman on my Superman shelf, but whatever. Then I got some random single issues right here with some just random graphic novels and all that. Do, 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 do. I have to use this to prop up this shelf because when I was moving, I lost the um, I lost one of the little things that goes in here, so it'll fall unless I have these books here. So I use those books to prop it up. But yeah, then got more graphic novels, more graphic novels, more graphic novels. Then I got some long boxes. I have more long boxes back in my old house in Florida. It's just it costs so much to ship it out here that I wasn't able to ship all of them. I shipped a lot though. Like, all these graphic novels got shipped out here along with this long box. Uh, but then I got these. These are actually cool design long boxes. This is a Punisher... Hello. This is a Punisher Daredevil long box. Like, as you can see, there's Daredevil right there, and then it makes a Punisher symbol in the background. Then over here, I got a Flash one. It's supposed to be like a Star Labs Flash one. I thought that was pretty cool. And the other one's just a plain one. But, uh, yeah. So I use those to throw, like, the current comics I'm reading into. And uh, right here's my lightsaber. Which you guys made this happen when I did that Jimmer sponsorship. That was how I was able to buy this. I always wanted a Force Effects lightsaber. There's the box right there. <laughs> so cool. Because Obi Wan's my favorite, so I bought Obi Wan. So cool looking. Sadly, this thing, which is supposed to be used uh, to like prop it up, doesn't really work, so I don't use it. There's Jimmy again. And uh, let's see if there's anything else. There's not really much else. Because it's a one-bedroom apartment, so I live in the living room, and my brother lives in there, in his room. And then here's the kitchen, which isn't, no one, no one really cares. Here's my Praetorian Guards cup that I bought the night of seeing The Last Jedi, because I was so excited for the movie, and I was like, those guys look cool, I like that cup, I want it. So I bought it, and then I regretted it afterwards, because how bad the movie was. I got Star Wars Bulls right here. Got our collectible Avengers cup from the, from the fan event I was talking about earlier. Another Star Wars Cup dolphin stuff. It's like I said, my brother's a Dolphins fan. <sighs> Anything else? This is the pantry. No one cares about the pantry. Look, Jimmy. Jimmy, buddy. Hello. Uh, but yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. This is the room. I'll do like a quick sort of 360. I love those posters. Posters are so awesome. Doo -doo. Oh yeah, I didn't really show the fireplace mantle. Uh, I've got just a little... These two, like, came in one-up boxes, I think. Actually, I think my sister got me that, but that came in one-up box. This is Man of Steel's special edition on Blu-ray. Like, if you open it, you'll see. Da -da -da. Yeah, it's got Man of Steel on Blu-ray and all that stuff. 
throughout there. And it's, but yeah, that's the Man of Steel Blu-ray special. I, I love it. It's pretty cool they do that because I like it in the Steel Ray, uh, Steel Ray, the Steel Book for Blu-rays. Then we got this, which sadly when I shipped it out here, the cape broke off a little bit, which sucked. Uh, got the ooh, got this, which is my souvenir from um, Ireland, which is a pocket watch. So yeah. Yeah, my Deathstroke poster, which I got when I went to go and see Deathstroke back... Deathstroke? Tony Daniel. When I uh, went and... Back, when I lived back in Florida, he visited a comic shop in Orlando. And so I went there, and this was when he was current writing and drawing Deathstroke. And so I got this poster because it looked awesome. I loved it. They had it specifically for that signing. I, I love, like, the old-school theater sort of circus-looking type vibe it has. It's cool. Got him to sign that, along with a bunch of other stuff. He signed some Deathstroke comics. I think I got him to sign my Batman R.I.P. And, um... What was it? I can't remember what else I got on the sign. Then we got Superman World War II theme, which I got from uh, Emerald City Comic Con. I really loved it because I wanted to get a poster from Emerald City Comic Con. And that was a Superman one that I saw and thought it looked cool. Got a cut up a Kia Superman, which I like. Besides the face, it looks a little rough. But besides that, it looks cool. Got uh, Disney Infinity Obi-Wan that my sister got me. Got this, which was my... my uh, what was it? But this was the one thing I got from Star Wars Celebration. And then I got Officer K, which I got in a one-up box also. Actually, no, no, not from a one-up box. I got this because I bought uh, Blade Runner 2049 tickets through Fandango. And they'll occasionally give you like a free poster of Funko Pop. And they gave me that for buying tickets to there. But yeah, that's uh, I think that wraps it up pretty much. Now I'm going to do the 360. Ready? I don't know what this music's supposed to be, but you get it. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Say goodbye, Albert. She's so tired. Legends never die, we've been going every night I've been feeling way too blessed, but with Lex I'm never stressed They don't know just what we do, we've been out here with the crew They don't know just how we live, think we got too much to give